what a scene right now inside the sold-out Bertina Center here in Houston. A crowd of just over 7,000 at this terrific arena. They have come to watch the number one team in the nation, the Houston Cougars, undefeated at 9-0, taking on the 7-1 Alabama Crimson Tide. This is a football game. What a scene. Don Daly, Doug Shouse, Keith Kimball, the officials, and underway with the Tide getting the first possession of the afternoon. The kick out and an early three-pointer will go for Noah Clowney. The percentage is going to be a battle at both ends. Here comes the double team by Houston. And stolen away by Jamal Shen. And a burst of speed to finish. The post, but off pick and roll situations. Clowney passes up the three and drives in to bank one home. Almost 17 points per game off to Walker. Beautiful ball for Houston. Tennessee, Miller. Left the three. Short, Clowney with the tip rebound out to the corner. And the corner three is good for Burnett. We overseeing the picture of myself from 1983. <laughs> so you can worry about your little violation trouble on your own time. Yeah. Great ball movement and Shady with a layup. It sounds like it's twice as many people in this building. And a strong finish there by the freshman, Jaden Bradley, a very talented player, the number one team of the nation. An interesting note that we got yesterday for years in their record book. I'm sorry, that first time they've ever played a top ten matchup here. Again, you better guard, you better rebound if you want to get on the floor for Kelvin Sampson. Drops in a tear drop. Kelvin told us an interesting story yesterday. Clearly, he's got that ball on a string. Corner three, Clowney, and it rattles home. So Clowney off to a great start. A couple of threes and eight of Alabama's 14 points. Shot fakes will be very effective against Alabama in this game. Converted quite as much as they would have liked. Well, Alabama's defense has been terrific. Roberts always wants to get back to that left hand, and you see why. One-on-one -on -one in the post, but you give that much space and let him get back to that right shoulder, it's over. Boy, pretty basketball between Gurley and Bradley, and it winds up with a chance for a three-point play. And here come the Cougars looking for the lead. Mark, and they Grind it out for 40 minutes against this defense. Get it up quickly to try to get something easier in transition. Boy, a clean look in the corner for Namari Burnett. To see him in the corner, and Burnett was ready to shoot it as the ball arrived. Walker. Soft touch. Marcus Sasser not help off. That's going to open up some things for some other Houston Cougars. Sasser needs those flip glasses yeah. that outfielders wear. <laughs> Five-stitch cut over the left eyebrow. Quinterly lays it in to put Alabama back on top. If Houston has a stick-back basket in this game, I haven't seen it. I can't remember. Another turnover. Numbers for the Cougars. Oh! And Jamal Shedd throws the roof. Off this building. Another look, Mr. Billis. Oh, this is a this is a sports center top ten. And for me, this is number one. My goodness. What is he, 6'1? Yes, sir. And dunks over 6'9. And low cross screen taking on Reggie Cheney. Well, that wasn't Noah Klein, excuse me. That was Pringle. Did a really good job there. Shed soft touch on the floater. Cougars on top. But oh, boy, this team, they may lead the nation in playing hard. Shed to Mark. Mark for three. Take a look at our first half stats brought to you by Boost Mobile. Both teams down in the 30s in field goal percentage. Again, Alabama struggled to take care of the ball. Did an outstanding job of the offensive glass. So maybe those two kind of balance each other out. Weak side rebound for Roberts. And Roberts just wedged Betty Ako in there so he couldn't move. 
Shed the kick. Mark the three. On the ball, he's staying in the lane. And that can open some things up for these Houston guards. Shed for three. Yes! Alabama into a half-court team, and that's not the way the Crimson Tide want to play. What a split. Marcus Sensor. A little horn set with two up top. Clowney, strong move. Well, he's Boy, had a, he's he's had a good game. Yep, Pretori a little bit here, right? Well, so are you, brother. Yeah. I hate to break it to you, but... <laughs> oh, what a great oh, play. with the kids when they recruit them and Roberts has turned into a huge piece of this team Sasser shed etc as Roberts called for the foul the bucket as well the scout when you go to practice because they're the they're the ones that aren't smiling and sweating nice finish inside by Nick Pringle a junior from Seabrook South Carolina Reggie Cheney got hit there as he was going up Corner three, and a big bucket for the Tide, knocked down by Griffin. Okay, for Houston to extend this six-point lead. Griffin, nice pass, and another good one. Sears knocks down a corner three. And that's his game, which is catch and shoot. Averaging 15 on the season, that was his first field goal of this game. Sasser can't finish, Walker's got it, forces it up and in. Top of a finish was that. What a fun top four right now, if you will, in whatever order you want to put them. Houston, Virginia, Purdue, and Yukon. How about the start of the year? At... Physical and relentless. What a, what a move. Jamal Shedd has been the best player on the floor today. If that was a car commercial, it'd be zero to 60 in one second. And if this were a football game, he'd have been gone. You know, things can get a little bit clogged up. And so right now, I think Houston wants to attack the paint because Betty Ackles out of there. Shed driving again. Chip goes! It's like you have to put two guys on. And underneath, Clowney converts again. Mark fouls out 10 points on the afternoon. And Ramon Walker Jr. takes his place and just got beat by Bradley. Just a little horn set. There was a horn's fade, too. What a crossover. Teardrop off the back of the iron. Kept alive. Kept alive by Jamal Shedd. Now thrown away by Reggie Chaney. Griffin behind the back. Puts it up. And the follow is good. It's Bradley to bring him within one. Defenders and drop it off. Charles Bediaco, the big guy for Alabama, back on the floor. Mark Sears has returned as well. Sears for three. Wow. Yes! And Alabama has the lead. Boy, Jaden Brown is playing well. Sasser. Walker keeps it alive, but it comes down to Brown. Sears for three. And the Tide have the lead in this game so far today. A big one there. Two huge free throws for the freshman. And he missed them both. And they took care of the ball. The most important factor was they stopped turning the ball over. They had 12 turnovers at halftime. They've only turned it over three times. Roberts got to run it down. Seconds are ticking away. Walker, no. Cheney, yes, and a chance for three. Houston out of timeouts. And another miss. Really a remarkable second half performance by the time. A 20-point swing. Threes, no fouls for Alabama. Shed gets off the three. Kick back out. Sasser inside. And this one is over. Alabama 
comes into Houston and knocks off previously undefeated and top-ranked Houston with an extraordinary performance in the second half, led by, in a number of ways, their freshmen. The Crimson Tide take down the Cougars 71-65. to 